There is something about NC State fans and national attention. Last football season, it was this guy who grabbed the spotlight after the Pack defeated Florida State. And now Saturday, listen to the end of the game as the Pack defeat then number one Duke. Let the party begin in Raleigh. Oh, guys, big, oh watch the young guy with a wheelchair. Oy. Oh, he got a wheelchair out there. Unbelievable. Did you see that? Oh, my heart goes out. I hope he's okay. Great video. Joining us now is the young man who led the charge of the Pack fans onto the court in his wheelchair, Mr. Will Privet. Will, we have to first ask you, are you okay? It was quite a mosh pit there at center court. I did not sustain any injuries. I am fine. I'm a little tired after the past 24 hours, but uh, I'm, I'm great. I'm doing great. That's wonderful. Let's go back to the end of that game. NC State wins by eight. We understand you shot this video here on your phone. What happened next? Well, I went to center court and I, we're trying to piece it all together, but from what we think happened, so I was facing towards the scorer's table, so I was straight ahead. The people obviously were coming in from both sides of the court, and what I think happened is the crowd bum rushed and pushed our freshman shooting guard, Rodney Purvis, against my chair, and that's what flipped me over. And, and I was holding my phone, as you could see. My phone went flying, my glasses flew off, and I, I hit the ground. And the first thing, obviously, I tried to get my phone back. I wasn't thinking about my own safety. I, uh, I tried to get my phone and my glasses, but they were gone. I didn't know where they were, so I gave up on that. And then I started to protect myself, and people around me were trying to get, get, get help or whatever. And then C.J. Leslie happened to see me on the floor, and then he was the one that was telling everyone to back up, back up. And then once he cleared room, he ended up just picking me up and kind of holding me and... Uh, once he picked me up, I just started going crazy. I just started cheering and screaming and all that. And he's six eight or six nine, so um, I was pretty much at the very top of everyone. So everyone saw me, and everyone started going crazy. And he held me for, I think it was about two minutes or so until they found my wheelchair, which got lost in the sea of people. That's wonderful. So a moment of concern there continued with the celebration yeah. and C.J. Leslie <laughs> helping you out. That's that's unbelievable. Uh, we also hear you're one popular guy in Raleigh right now. What's the craziest offer you have received to this point? Um, on Saturday night, I got a Facebook message from a fellow student, uh, Kayla Dressens, who goes to NC State, and her dad is the vice president of Dressens Medical Supply, which is in High Point, and he offered to pay or to fix my wheelchair for free. So he and uh, his wife came over yesterday and brought me a new uh, back to my chair, so I'm good to go on that. Well, we understand you're not only an avid NC State fan, but an avid Hoops fan in general. Besides your beloved Wolfpack, give us a couple of teams to watch for around the country this season. Well, I'm, I'm a, Duke obviously is a good team. It just depends on how Ryan Kelly does and when he comes back. And then I think Seth Curry's injury is not that bad, but he's good. Um, Kentucky, I know, started off slow, but they should be okay. They got Norlings and this, like four or five first rounders. And UCLA has been disappointing, but they got Shabazz and they might step up. And then Indiana with uh, um, with Zeller. So but I think State will be right in the middle of it. Though. We we did a real big thing on Saturday, beating Duke, and I think it's really going to push us in the right direction to try and take over the ACC and, and try and go beyond the Sweet 16 this year. Well, best of luck to you. Will Privet joining us uh, from NC State. For a recap of the entire weekend, including Brian Scalabrini's Final Four, check out the video only on CampusInsiders.com.